Pepe is one of the memes of the crypto community. Uh, people love Pepe and basically use it in all kind of arts. And basically Pepe and Rare Pepes were one of the first NFTs ever. They were NFTs already on Bitcoin in 2016. And you might wonder how it's possible to have an NFT on Bitcoin. Uh, there's basically a layer two called counterparty uh, X chain. And I'm going in this video to talk about that because I think if you're holding Bitcoin right now, uh, you might be interested in looking at rare peppers. Those are really historical NFTs uh, of really good value so far. Uh, most of them are super expensive already. Uh, some of them you can already buy on Ethereum because there's something called emblem vault where you have a vault transferring your Bitcoin NFT to Ethereum buying it there uh, It's getting complicated. But anyway, rare peppers really started the movement for NFTs and they were really traded quite a lot already in 2016 uh, 2015 was probably the year when Pepe came to the mass audience thanks to 4chan uh, the pepe itself was uh, created in 2005 i think there's this great article from coin telegraph i'm going to link it down below uh, about the rare peppers uh, and basically about the story uh, of rare peppers uh, probably you're seeing peppers right now everywhere uh, so you might wonder what's the story behind that uh, it all started with feels good man uh, the, the initial comic book uh, that was done around, I think, yeah, 2005 uh, was, the, was the comic book. 2015, the Unknown Army from one of 4chan's uh, forum decided to claim, uh, pe reclaim Pepe's uh, because I think like in between that was, Pepe was used a lot by different, uh, different groups of people on 4chan. Right now, it's widely used on crypto Twitter uh, just as a symbol for, well, being a degen, uh, doing degen things on, on chain uh, and basically having fun with crypto. So the way to uh, start looking at different cards, probably one of them is uh, pepe.wtf. Uh, this is one of the, 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 one of the things where you can see all the cards being listed here. Uh, one by one, so you can see everything here with uh, statistics. Another such website is rarepepes.com. Those cards are randomized. Not everything is uh, available. Not all information is available here, but you have a bunch of information, and you can see most of the uh, Pepe cards here. So also pretty interesting. Uh, Pepe.wtf is probably uh, more advanced when it when it comes to you know statistics about the uh, last prices if you click on anything then for example uh, for example pepe nation let's click on that uh, that has lower floor one of the first cards uh, as you can see uh, you can see the floor you can buy the floor you can view that on OpenSea. so on OpenSea, what i've mentioned is that this is exactly uh, the uh, the collection that is in an emblem vault which was wrapped on ethereum but you can also see it on scarcity that's a, a market a bitcoin marketplace built on uh, x chain so generally speaking counterparty is uh, the way to extend bitcoin this is the company building layer two for uh, uh, for bitcoin with a token being called xcp uh, you can also go to xchain.io and see uh, have an explorer there for XCP uh, and see, for example, Pepe's. So this is how it started. They built this, they started by building layer two for uh, for Bitcoin, and then on this uh, layer two, they issued their NFTs, being rare Pepe's. Really cool stuff. Uh, you can see the statistics also on um, particular assets on exchange. So for example, you can see the the market cap. This is the market cap cap for the particular token. So the, the particular token being in this case Dunk Pepe, which is one of the cards uh, from season one uh, of Rare Pepe's. Uh, so this is the market cap only for this token, not for all the, not for the whole collection. So this is uh, also, uh, to be honest, exchange.io, uh, this is a little bit less intuitional than uh, other, uh, other websites. So for example, I mostly use Pepe. Uh, WTF because that's like much easier to use and see uh, where you can buy particular assets, what you can do with them, uh, and so on. So it's it's much easier here uh, to use rather than uh, try to use X 
chain for that. Uh, of course, this is the, the, the marketplace as well uh, and the link with the marketplaces. Generally speaking, I really recommend going through different uh, Pepe cards because that's, first of all, that's NFT history and also that's Bitcoin history because those NFTs are on Bitcoin, which is really, really cool. Uh, so yeah, counterpart to uh, Scarcity, that's the marketplace. If you want to uh, go for the marketplace on Bitcoin, on layer two, they are doing a bunch of drops. They're doing a bunch of other things as well. They have also a physical marketplace, which is also fun. Uh, you can buy, for example, Antminer. So uh, you can start mining uh, Bitcoin if you want to, basically buying stuff uh, basically buying stuff on this marketplace. Uh, really interesting. Uh, so generally speaking, this opens the Pandora box, the Pandora doors to uh, the Pandora box to uh, various applications of Bitcoin layer two, which is really cool. Uh, as you remember, Bitcoin does not have smart contracts by itself. So you have to build on top of Bitcoin in order to have smart contracts. And there's a bunch of solutions there for building uh, those smart contracts. Uh, counterparty with uh, Exchange was one of the first with Rare Peppers uh, being really, really successful. And that's why uh, still to this day, people are trading Rare Peppers uh, and uh, having fun collecting them because there's a lot. Of course, this is purely educational. Do not invest more that you can lose. Uh, this is highly risky, especially if we're talking about NFTs on Bitcoin, uh, so have that in mind. Uh, however, definitely uh, get to know better what kind of uh, cards you can get uh, because there's like a lot of different interesting cards you can go through, uh, which shows you the history of uh, Pepe, which shows, the, shows you the history of Bitcoin as well. And I think it's really interesting. So for example, you have like Gox Pepe mentioning that uh, this moment of the fall of Mount Gox, uh, because that was around the time, uh, I, I think like, or maybe a year or two after that. Uh, there's a bunch of other uh, Pepe cards that alludes to particular events or particular uh, things like Dao Pepe hack, for example. So another thing. Uh, uh, another thing from the this time Ethereum past, really cool stuff. And also on Pepe WTF, you can see uh, the sales history, see how it changes, what you can do with it right now, uh, and so on. Uh, really interesting. Uh, as I've mentioned, this is really part of Bitcoin history and NFT history. Uh, I'm recording this video because in a couple of years, those cards probably will be worth even much more than that. Uh, and of course, this is not a financial advice. This is purely an opinion on that. But basically, all collectibles that are related to history, if Bitcoin will be relevant, if Ethereum will be relevant, this should really hold the value to a certain extent. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more crypto updates and news on NFTs, airdrops, DeFi, and everything around Web3. See you in the next video.